Okay, before I get to rolling with this one, I need to do a recap on from what I talked about before. So first of all, when I, I had I got this and I wanted to unbox it and just dig into it, see how it is. I want to see how it weighs. And I was just, you know, just seeing all the just the features and everything. And also I wanted to go ahead. I went ahead and I was doing like I want to show you guys how to set everything up. So, you know, make sure you guys hit that link at the top so we can like you and also I'm gonna leave it in the description. So I'm gonna show you I show you some gameplay from great PC games. PlayStation Plus was in the mix and but you know and i mean streaming everything was just off the chain now i needed to now i gotta keep going because this one i want to just focus up on what let's talk about emulation baby <laughs> yeah it's all about emulation so i can show you this part right here let's get started what is going on you guys your boy famous kid video game entertainment and before we go any further make sure you hit that like subscribe button click like subscribe button. it's always a big help from our previous video pc gaming you know some streaming the settings and everything else and from showing you what my settings is it's going to be the same settings as you see in that that previous video this time emulation baby we going we gonna we gonna dig up in it and i want to i want to show you guys how how like the how it looks on this this particular device but i'm gonna do something way different we're gonna go i'm gonna take advantage of this c type and i'm gonna plug up this adapter right here and i'm going to plug up my keyboard my little keyboard and mouse combo so that way all that's gonna be plugged up and then at that same time with this particular adapter i'll be able to plug this up the capture device so now we're gonna get we're gonna get all this up in there now when I'm setting this up, I want to let you know that you can hook up your controller to this thing through Bluetooth. With me, I'm going to be using my Xbox controller, if you want to say series, series controller. Now, before you start playing games, make sure that you you have the option to. You have the option to where after you have this whole thing set up, you can actually use it to where you can have your device as a controller itself or you can go ahead and map out your controller. In this case, I'm just I'm just wanting to just let you know you have that option to do that, you know, and, and that way you can control it from the thing. Now, while are you up in big picture mode, you can definitely control everything with your with your controller, your your Series S controller and everything else. But if you're going to go into emulation, you have to map out them controls. I mean, well, I'm I'm just I'm not gonna sit there and like go to this big debate about it. That was just the, the thing I ran into as I was doing this. So I just wanted to give you fair warning about this. Maybe you guys might not have this problem. And I'm not gonna <laughs> get in that in that situation, but I just wanted to tell you what the hurdles that I had to go through. In all other words, when I was playing PC games, I was able to use the Bluetooth controller. But when I got to emulation, I had to use the device controller but i was able to still use my bluetooth controller after i mapped the buttons now let's get into some games i do want to also point this out a lot of the emulation that i was using i just use retroarch and then i was i like quite like what dreamcast here for a primus i put dream redream up in here and don't i mean but i didn't even really even use it now you can use redream and do your settings and just like normal emulation but the way i look at it is it was just it's just simple just to use retro art that's for real <laughs> check this out some type of games you just be playing like all night i mean late night playing just chilling for real i mean and this thing is like a like a console right here man it's just, so how do you get through you can pick it up with your hand and still be able to play it let's get into something else round one fight <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Round two. I'm quite sure it should have been some background music to this one, but it didn't affect the gameplay. I mean, this game still played just fine. And it's been it's been some a while since I played this one. So and this game is fun. <laughs> Check it out, N64 using the same app, just straight out the box and looking good like this. I, I, a lot of times when I do do these little setups, I just try to make it easier for the person. So if you if you figure out how to use Retro Art, I mean, like, and something simple for you. You know, without have to do all these extra settings and stuff, this is perfect. You don't have to do nothing, not too much, and just just game up. Sometimes I can't be put on these system while at least trying like two games. Mortal Kombat Trilogy N64. Boom. Dropping it. This game is this game is fun. Still, still, still good. Scorpion wins. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Up next, Sega Saturn. Same app, same thing, and looking. You, you, you already know. Much respect to this to this console right here. Let's keep going. You look lost. Can I help you? Flash? What are you doing here? Now, I'm quite sure you guys already know that some of these originals will play with no problem at all. Just like I said, same app. But I don't know. I had to pop on the SNES and just get down for just a few seconds and just yeah this yeah this was the game right here this was the game <laughs> Thank you. 
if you grew up in the 90s, you knew about Ninja Turtles. And if you had a Sega Genesis, you knew Hyper Stone Heist was off the chain. You know that game was just, yeah, yeah. I don't, you know it was different from, you know, Turtles of Time and stuff like that. But it doesn't matter. Sega Genesis, off the chain. Yep, it's here. We playing. Boom. To the ps1 baby now I'm, I'm gonna say it just like this you gotta respect the visuals of the ps1 when it came down to alpha alpha looked is so good from from like the the looks the, the the sound graphics and everything we didn't care if we was on them two tvs back then we was playing these games and having Fun and they looked good to us. The color was popping and everything. With them AV cable, we was happy with that. Let's roll. Still using the same app, RetroArch, by the way. I just, just wanted to let y'all know. I kind of slipped this one in because this is one of my favorite games. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you guys follow the channel, you, when I do like just testing on like emulation, yeah, I use this. This this game is so much fun. I'm just now using the other apps now. This one right here, I'm using the PPSSPP emulation, you know, on here. And yeah, this is, I, I, I did bump this up to like, probably like three X resolution. So it gives like that 720 vibe. You can actually do it higher and it plays well. So check it. I, I must return fire. to the dolphin right now and i gave this one like a 725 so I me mean, i don't really i don't really try to mess with it to go any higher than what that what it is you know because i don't know i mean 720 just looks gorgeous on the screen i mean you can bump it up to like 1080 but i i just want to keep that 720 it's fine it it looks good it plays good <laughs> we game it Now I did a few things to this PS2 emulator as I was setting it up and, and basically I upped, I bumped up the resolution a little bit but the only only downside about this part is, is if you can just tell 
that I was having a little bit of you know with the music but other than that it still plays well no problem if you if you want just just basically have it just normal and you know don't mess with don't mess with anything and it should just play just fine this is just me I, I wanted to see how it looks with a higher resolution I just wanted to see how it look I was kind of curious about it and this is the results of it but still playing it's, it's still just fine Now this final one, this final emulator, was kind of a shocking one because I could not believe that I was able to get CPU emulator working up on here, and it looks, yeah, yeah, it's off the chain. I I have this is the only thing that as if when you set this up, it's is really it's pretty easy setting this thing up, but if you set it up and after you get through, just letting you know that in some cases. It's got to compile the shaders once you once it does to compile all the shaders and stuff because sometimes as the game play it's gonna compile the shaders real quick. Once it does that, it's just fine. The game plays well, and I mean I have played a couple of games. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you another one, and I'm just gonna hop into it. I'm just gonna show them both before I even before I get talking. I just want you to see it. Oh, Sonic! You know what's better than an ambush? An ambush with ice cream? Here we go! Let's smash them! So I can see how they work? <laughs> These are some strange robots! Hey! Watch out, Tails! They have swords! These guys are good! Any advice, Tails? Sure! Avoid those swords! Once again, solid advice, buddy. A forest. This is more like it. Quite peaceful. Calm and peaceful? Well, it never stays that way. Sorry that those last two had to take a while because I wanted you guys to see the gameplay and how much fun it's just been. Yeah, it, 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 it just basically it was just playing pretty normal. It just you know, just like I said, if it, it has a little parts where it's just like compiling those shaders. Once it does that, yeah, it's just it's just fine. 
I okay in my this is the way I think about this system this this on um, this handheld is that this right here I'm not gonna put it to where it's battling the steam deck I'm not gonna put it to where that it's better than a steam deck I'm not gonna put it to where you put it next to it it's one to me it's like this if you decide you don't want to get a steam deck but you want something smaller try this out and that's just how I look at it just try it out but here's the thing it's that price tag it's that price tag so if you want to save you some money yeah go ahead and get the steam deck because the steam deck is it, it basically have everything you possibly could could play up on it no problem far as like the the specs concern goes yeah I mean I'm I'm have to I'm have to give it to the steam deck I mean for real because with the price and everything else I mean it can it can it, it's it's up there but at the same time it is a quality handheld you know setting it up and doing what you got to do and it's very very I, I i heard i saw some other you know other cats out there that sat, had a few problems setting it up but i really didn't have no problems it was just it's it worked out really good for me and it's been fun most of this mostly when i'm playing this it's pretty much and just like i said before in, in in the other video is that i'm pretty much gonna be playing this with just the pc games and you know playing with some of the games that i do have and i do you know but emulation i got i got other handhelds i usually i just i wanted to just show you guys in case you get some you was thinking about getting something like this and you wanted to go ahead and dabble into the emulation and maybe you wanted to play wii u on a handheld hey <laughs> now you see that it works now you see that everything's good hey maybe you want to you know i mean you wanted to dabble into this stuff or you just wanted to collect i mean so this is <laughs> where's that for real so you know but i did a, i took a <laughs> this took two videos for me to do this so thank you guys if you guys watched the last video and got to this one i, I truly truly much much appreciate it thank you very much and i mean and just playing these games just took took me down just once again down memory lane and i hope it i hope it did the same thing for you so thank you guys for chilling with me and from gamer to gamer thanks for watching